Experts Directory uses a service called Orchid to help you add scholarly and creative works to your profile, which can save you an incredible amount of time and make the process of building your profile and adding to it over time easy and simple. But what exactly is Orchid? How does it work? And how can it help you with your publications? Let's take a closer look at this service and learn how you can use it to your advantage. ORCID stands for Open Researcher and Contributor Identification. The ORCID organization dates back to 2009, and it's a global not-for-profit organization sustained by fees from its member organizations, not through advertising, data mining, or selling personal information. They provide services for researchers and institutions, and one of the most useful is what's known as an ORCID ID, and it all starts with your name. Names can get really confusing, especially in scholarly research. It's not uncommon for two or more researchers to have the same name, and there can be also confusion related to similar names with slightly different spellings. People can change names with life circumstances, use different spellings, and publish under names that are different from their actual name. All of these can sometimes lead to confusion, misattribution, and other errors when trying to keep track of and manage scholarly and creative works. Your ORCID ID can help solve all of that. An ORCID ID is a numeric identifier that you can use to ensure that your professional work is accurately and consistently connected to you in online archives and databases. Your own unique ORCID ID distinguishes you from every other researcher, and you can connect it to all of your professional information, affiliations, grants, publications, peer review, and more. It works kind of like your social security number or OKI number, but it's specifically designed for your professional career. Furthermore, scholarly publishers and funding agencies are increasingly requiring researchers to submit their ORCID IDs when submitting an article or applying for grant funding. ORCID IDs are free, easy to set up, and extremely useful for managing your scholarly and creative works. To get started, visit the ORCID website at orchid.org. Click the Sign In Register link at the top right corner of the page. Then scroll down to the Register Now option if you don't yet have an ORCID ID. Enter your first name and OSU email address, and you can also enter your last name and an additional email address if you want to. Then click the Next button. At this point, ORCID will search its records to see if you already have an ORCID ID that you either forgot about or was automatically created for you by a research institution. If one of them looks like it could belong to you, right-click View Record to show the record associated with that ORCID ID in a new tab. If the record does belong to you, click Sign In to start editing, and it will take you back to the initial login screen where you can log in and access your ORCID record. If the record does not belong to you, close the tab and click None of these are me. Continue with registration. On the next screen, create a password. You can also choose whether or not you would like to receive quarterly news about ORCID. Then click Next. Finally, select your visibility settings. We recommend everyone, but you can learn more by clicking More Information on Visibility Settings. You do have to consent to the terms of use and give your consent to having your data processed in the United States, and you can learn more about these by clicking the links provided. You might also see a verification box to prove that you're a human, and if so, click it and answer the prompt if it shows one. Then click Register. When you're all done, you'll see your official ORCID record, along with your ORCID ID, in the top left corner. You can fill in the various fields listed here if you want, what really matters is the ID. This is the unique identifier that is linked to you and only you, and you can use it not only on your experts directory profile, but on all of your scholarly and creative works. It never changes, never goes away, and is a great way to cut down on the confusion and ambiguity that can sometimes arise when working with names across scholarly pursuits. The last phase of this entire process involves adding this ORCID ID to your experts directory profile, which will then help you with claiming publications and adding other scholarly and creative works to your profile. Rather than using only your name to look for publications when crawling through databases like Scopus, Dimensions, and PubMed, Experts Directory will also use your ORCID ID. We have another video that goes over the process of connecting your ORCID ID to your Experts Directory profile. It's not difficult, but there are a few steps involved, and we do recommend that you watch that other video.